Welcome to another episode of Disruptors in the Culture. I am your co-host, Amira Smith, and I have my awesome co-host, Joshua Meekins. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, everybody. Uh, This is another episode, as Amira said, of Disruptors in the Culture, coming to you live from Rec Philly. We are back. Um, Today, we have a very special guest. Um, First off, I would like to say that I'm a fan. (laughs) Um, We share the same name, which is incredible, too, as well. (laughs) But um, this man is um, a man of many talents, I would say. For real, like, even when I did my research and you, you know, was a had my initial fandom. The music <laughs> is incredible, you know. Thank the you. garments are incredible. Uh, the philanthropy, incredible. You know, I, I checked out your Instagram bio. It said scientist. I was like, I gotta hear more about that. <laughs> but um, without further ado, I'm gonna introduce Joshua uh, Lang. Man. What up? What up? What up? Thanks for having me, guys. Man, it's a it's a it's pleasure really to have you yeah, here. Man. Absolute Thank pleasure. You. I'm excited for the convo. <laughs> excited to hear let what me, you guys let got. Me know, Josh may be a fan, but I'm a consumer. I have some of your things. When you had the pop yeah, up yeah, at Ubik, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I, I knew. I told you he See, would know me. I do know you. I do know. Josh was fronting on me. Well, that Josh was fronting on me. You ain't fronting on me. We haven't but met like face to face, but yeah. yeah, I remember you popping up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Great. So you've had, you've had a career, man, or not had? Yeah. I'm like had Having, a career. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Having, yes. And being such a multi hyphenate, like he said on your Instagram, it says I'm a scientist. But if you were to walk in a room and you say like, my name is Josh Lang, I am. What would mm, you say? Word. Uh, that question is always hard to answer. Well, first, I always like to like humble myself and ground myself and just always remind myself that I'm like a vessel for information, you know? Mm-hmm. We're, all, we're all vessels. Um, I'm a funnel to like share what I, what I like. I'm a, I'm a funnel to share my creativity. Mm-hmm. Then after that, that's where I start to ground myself. Then, you know, obviously I create my life after that. So Joshua Lang is a designer, uh, apparel designer. I'm mm-hmm. a DJ. I love photography. Um, Anything just like aesthetic wise, I'm just a huge fan of aesthetic and design. Mm. I love furniture. I don't, I don't design furniture, but like that's like my interest, you know. That's in the goals. Um, but yeah, Joshua Lang is fuck. Is overall, I hate. I don't like using the word Renaissance man. Yeah. Sounds kind of like cocky, but yeah. I'm a man of like many. You know, I like I like dabbling in different things. Yeah, I definitely think <laughs> like being being the creative that you are. I don't just want to say just creative, but being the person that you are, like you have the ability to do so many things. Mm-hmm. I think sometimes you gotta accept that. You know, it, being 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 a being is complicated. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of different passions. You got a lot of different things you want to do. Exactly. You got sometimes you gotta own that in different ways. So. Yeah. But I mean, like, okay. I, we know that you do a lot of different things now. Mm-hmm. I think the best place to start, even for you know, th- talking about your journey where you got to. Yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about the music, but let's talk about maybe the influence of the music. How'd you grow up? Like, what was your mm. you know your process to to go to there? To to the music. Yeah. Uh. So, man. So actually, the music came after designing. But I was oh wow. Desi- so yeah. Designing came first. Oh yeah. That was, that came way before okay, music. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So shit. Break it down. Uh, played football my whole life, just wow. super random. What no position? Like running back. Okay. <laughs> what was the forty speed? Uh, what was it? Four five. Okay. Four, yeah, okay. Four, five. That's still solid. It was That's solid. It was a nice little. Uh, I played uh, football at Rowan actually. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Shout out Rowan University. Oh, yeah. yeah. You like that? So, yeah. Through my whole growing up, middle like elementary, middle school, high school, I was just straight football head, like wow. meathead. I was yeah. always in the gym. Like that was like my life. You know, I thought I was gonna go to NFL yeah. type shit. Um, then after that. Second year into college, I dropped out because I realized I wasn't going to go to the NFL. Okay. And I just, like, didn't like where I was at. Like, in, at Rowan, it was a super random yeah. college for me. Like, wasn't my wasn't my vibe. So, yeah. I dropped out. Moved back home to Jersey to my parents. Stayed there for, like, a whole year. And uh, my best friend from home, from Cherry Hill, he actually went to Temple. Okay. And then that year I moved back. Sorry, it's it's, like, it's, a, it's a lot. Story, yeah, no. But it's a journey, that, that year it's a I moved back, he went to Temple. So I was like, fuck, I'm like bored. Like, I have nothing to do. I don't even know who I am because I just, all I knew was yeah, football, you know? I yeah. just didn't even know what I liked. Um, so as the year goes on, he hits me up one day. He's like, yo, we got one extra bedroom at my crib. It was on 15th and Girard. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys know Silo. You, you, you guys yes. know Silo? Yes. Yeah, so I live with Silo. My be- It was like eight of us in this one crib. I'll never forget. It was like, for two years, we just had this crib just rocking, like parties. Wow. All. It was just like an amazing entry into Philly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like packed up my bags and moved the next day. Then um, that's when I started the brand, BWC. Wow. Uh, started designing, uh, just, you know, graphic t-shirts. Mm-hmm. But what was the, what was, all right, so what's the intro? Because yeah. I always ask people this question. Yeah. Because I think this is like the nucleus. Who, when you were a little kid, mm-hmm. like when you pictured yourself as a grown person, okay. like in your early 20s, who yeah. did you see? I don't even know. <laughs> was like, was I, it like I, you I, saw I, yourself I as like, NFL or? Well, yeah, but that was like the obvious answer, but 
Man, I always think about that. I don't really, like. I really had no like uh, dreams or desires to do anything. I was yeah. just kind of just like rolling with the football flow and just see what, I, you happens. Know, see what yeah. happens. I was never like, yeah. I had. It's funny. I was just complete opposite kid. Like from there and then now, obviously we grow. But like, yeah. I was like, wasn't into music. Wasn't into design. I was just like completely so different. So you you come to Philly. You're yeah. there, 15th and Gerard. Life is kind of like a, a stream of parties Insane, and, and yeah. music. What made you say, I'm going to start designing, designing. clothes? Uh, yeah, so, damn, I actually skipped the question. When I was back at home, when yeah. I dropped out, I uh, made a couple, like, to me, they were amazing, but now I'm looking at them, they're really shitty designs. <laughs> Put them on Facebook, with, and I got a really dope reaction. I yeah. was like, dope. It was like, yo, this is like, I, having people like, yo, like, where can I buy it? I was like, I fell in love with that reaction of people, like, wanting to, like, wear or buy something I made. Yeah. Uh, that was, like, the first time I ever, like, made anything that, and put it out, like, in my whole life when I moved back home. So that that feeling, I, like, stuck with that feeling. I was like, okay, this is dope. And then, then that's when I moved to Philly, and I was like, all right, mm-hmm. I kind of, like, want to take this to the next level. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in this one crib with all these dope people. Everybody's, like, a creative. Everybody's a DJ. Design, well, you know, there's so many, like, dope people in this one crib. I was like, all right. I want to do this actually. I want to. made you say like, is it about making money, or were you just like, I'm gonna make things I want to wear? Yeah, that's that was it. I just mm. always knew, exploring my exploring my creativity and my aesthetic. I found that like I like very unique things and very unique patterns, and the fabric I choose is like very specific. You know, it's yeah. for a very specific crowd and people. So yeah, yeah. So how did how did the name um, built with craft? come into it bwc yeah so it was actually called uh uh breadwinner's clothing well it's it's the oh, so the original brand was breadwinner's clothing that yeah. was when i like when i posted those things on facebook back at home yeah because yeah, yeah. i was the breadwinner of the of the house because i was working two jobs wow um yeah i was working two jobs which was crazy when i moved back because i was just like had nothing else to do yeah. i was like giving my money my parents money and stuff so i was like oh breadwinner's clothing that sounds dope and i made a couple designs and then when I moved to Philly, um, it was still it was still Breadwinner's clothing. I got BWC tatted on me, but yeah. like as I was going, I, I started to mature more about the designs, and like I was actually starting to make like cut and sew, mm-hmm. like button ups and like jackets, wow. Wow. not just t shirts. Like Breadwinner's clothing sounds young, you know. Yeah, sounds like it's like a young boy brand, and I was like, shit, I got BWC tatted on me though, so I can't <laughs> change it. Like, so I just like was thinking like, all right, what do I like? What is the foundation of the brand? And that came from like. So BWC stands for Built with Craft. Yeah. Um, so that's like, all right, I'm very like hands on with the factory in Brooklyn. I'm very, I pick all the materials. So it's like, this stuff is like really built with craft, you know? It's like yeah. a very uh, detailed process that I go through to like make stuff. So that's what we yeah, had built. That's where, well, that's where BWC came from. That, that, but that's changing Breadwinner's clothing to Built with Craft came from. Nice. Yeah. And I, I, when you mentioned, I think people don't talk about this a lot, but athletes, you know, high school athletes, collegiate athletes. Mm-hmm. I feel like when you get to a point, like even Tony, like when yeah. Tony stopped playing basketball, um, even for me, I played baseball all of high school, was going to play in college, got dislocated both my shoulders, and mm. I had to reevaluate my life. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you do after that? So, <laughs> oh, yeah, it was crowds. Well, like, your whole oh, identity weird, is one thing, yeah. and then it literally, just changes. Literally, like, yeah. I just, well, it was I? weird. I just woke up, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to do this no more. Right? I literally just I, I dropped out the next day. Was it tough for you? Was that transition uh, tough? No. no. <laughs> I was so ready to get out of there already, to be honest. This yeah. growing just in general was not, I don't know, it's not, mm. that was, like, was not where I was trying to be. I just, Makes like, sense. went there, I was like, oh, football, cool. Like, yeah. they, they were, like, the first uh, college I was interested in me, so I don't even, gotcha. I don't know. I just, like, studied psychology randomly. Yeah. I literally don't remember anything about that mm. experience. I just had, like, a really weird college experience, to be honest. Yeah. It was, like, it wasn't, it wasn't fulfilling, so, yeah. Gotcha. I was happy about dropping out. To answer your question, perfect and, gotcha. and comfortable, and I'm glad I did because I'm doing all this shit now. That if I, I always think about like, damn, if I never woke up that day and didn't drop out, I was always thinking like, what, what would I be doing right now? You know, the fact that I dropped out and moved back home and moved to Philly and was in this crib, it's like the story is wild. It's just like yeah. everything was like aligned already for me to do. I just had to do it. You know, it was. It was you seem like you're guided a lot by feelings. I like am. just like I got a feeling, <laughs> yeah. like man, this this ain't where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. Because even coming to Philly, was that like a plan, or it just was one day you said, Yeah, no. I can't, I or it seems like you like you have a, a idea, and you're like, I can't get to what I want here, so let me just yeah. move on. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm definitely in tune with myself and spirituality, and like I really like I love. Uh, learning about that stuff and like being into I, I meditate every day I do yoga I'm just like I just like know when I'm feeling a certain type of way that like that's the right thing to do and I'm just there's no second guessing myself yeah so um, yeah I'm definitely oh word you know what yeah. you, I forgot you DJ'd for um 
the spirits up activations. Did, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so yo- yeah. A, a, a fellow yogi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a yogi. Yeah. yeah, I'm a yogi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So all right, you launch your line, um, BWC. You're getting a, a good reaction, mm-hmm. right? Um, talk about like taking it to the next level, because my entry point into learning about you, I think I'm trying to remember if I just stumbled on it. Like yeah. I think I just went to you, Vic. I was there one day, um, the other Atmos or whatever, yeah. but I just went there and then oh, it was one of them things are like, what's over here? And they're like, oh, we're going to do a pop-up on this day. They're like, oh, come back, Amira is going to be, we're going to have, you know, drinks and stuff. And I said, All okay, right. cool. Oh, yeah. So it's like, how did the growth of it, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it was more so uh, me, uh, well, it started with like my actual, I love like networking. I love talking yeah. to people. I love like being in the mix and like, Going, I'd be going out by myself sometimes. Cause I just like like, I just like like engaging and like talking to people. So, throughout my relationships, I feel like that took helped take BWC to the next level. And obviously, like, you know, just me growing and growing within the brand, like being into different things, like designing, like sharpening my design skills, and like people being more attracted to it. Um, you know, going off on social media and like really taking social media seriously and growing it from there. Yeah. Um, but the real growth came from pop-ups and like the wow. in-person experience, you know. I think our first, our first, well, this leads into the, your music question. Yeah, so yeah. our first event, our launch of brand event was in like 2015. Yeah. And that's when I booked uh, Julio, which uh, uh, the hooligan from Selection. Mm. Um, he came and that's what set it off. And Mac Miller came actually. Wow. I was a, I was a really good friend with Mac Miller. Yeah. And he Sorry came from New York to come to the pop-up. Yeah. and. You know, just from like relationships and in in person experiences, the brand just like took off. Uh, well, not saying it's like a world famous brand. It's you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it grew crazy through, uh, yeah, the experiences we throw. So that's like that's wow. the most important thing. Yeah. The yeah the pop ups. And sure. it's, it's kind of crazy because like even Amir said like that's how that was her first experience kind of seeing your work. Even for mm-hmm. me, like I was telling you before the conversation. Selection show. I have it down here. <laughs> selection show three eighty three. I was Word. like, that's crazy. Like that was my first time hearing your music, nice. and then like hearing about you, hearing your story. Mm-hmm. Um, so it went from pops ups to pop ups to a transition to like how did music start from a yeah. pop up? Like they just yeah. So it was actually after that event, um, or after it was like three events after that. I just like kind of realized that um, I was like, man, the DJs that I'm booking are dope, but like I just know exactly how I want to curate mm. my own parties. Like I know. Exactly what what needs to be playing. Like I, I just read people, you know. Yeah. I just read people. I'm just like I want to DJ. Like I want to yeah. throw these pop ups and I want to control the environment with my with my music. So um, it wasn't until like a year or two after the first pop up then I started getting to like music. Yeah. Um, yeah. Started practice or bought my setup, t- taught myself and. Yeah. Fucking took off from there, you know. So were you like yeah. digging in the crates and just like, well, yeah. did you already have a, Dude, a vibe? Home, well, the house, the house, and disco and funk. That's like my, wow. that's like my stuff. That's yeah. like, that's what it's funny because when people ask me like, would you ever play like a, a trap or a hip hop set? Yeah. The answer is like no, and it sounds crazy when I say no, but like, I have to kid. Like I, I listen to I obviously listen to hip hop. Yeah. Whenever yeah. like it's part of the cult, part of me, part of the culture. But like as far as like playing for people. I connect more with like house music and mm. disco, it's a, which is all black music yeah. Yeah. as well. But like a lot of people just forget that, you know, and they like fucking run out the room when they start hearing house music. Yeah. And I was like, yo, like, I don't know, it's, it's funny. But like, the yeah, I just always been a fan of house and disco and funk. And like, my dad was actually a DJ in Atlantic City. But really? he, I didn't really like get into music through growing up. I yeah. just like knew he was a DJ, but never like asked questions. So I guess it's in the blood. I don't know. I was going to say, it has yeah. to be in the blood. So, um, yeah, that's just like my aesthetic. I just always play. If you're booking me, Joshua Lennon, you're gonna hear house and disco and yeah. funk and, and I mean, dance that, music. I yeah. think that was so cool that you made that clear. You were like, "Listen, I might not have the same sound as everybody else, but I'm gonna put you on to something yeah, new." Yeah, exactly. By that's the time you leave exactly. here. Exactly. So that's the fun part, you know, because mm-hmm. people. I always see people like, well, especially like seeing people uh, at the events like throughout the years. Like they're like, really, they're like, "Yo, like I love house music now." It's funny because yeah. like when they first came, they didn't really get it, you know. Yeah. They didn't really understand they weren't dancing. Like now you see them, they're just going off, you know. They're just wow. like. Really loving, yeah. It's 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 dope, man. So that's so yeah. That's how DJ came about. Like I just wanted to start, uh, you know. Are you a, a a Virgo or a Gemini? I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I, I know. Listen, nah, she does you. that. That's you her probably thing. got a Virgo moon because that I that's will do so it funny. myself. <laughs> like I let me do it. You yeah. know what? They not getting it. I'm gonna just DJ myself. <laughs> you know what? These clothes ain't it. I'm like I gotta make my own. Like exactly. It's, I have a clear. I just have a clear vision of taste and what I like, and I think other people would enjoy it so that's why i was saying 
always remind myself I'm a vessel and like I just want to share yeah. these uh, my creative uh, energies to people. Yeah, and that's dope that you're introducing. I would say probably a younger crowd to mm -hmm. house because yeah. there's a, a clear divide when it comes oh, to yeah, house course, music, right? Course, like yeah. there's old heads like me because <laughs> house used to it, house was popular in the late yeah. 80s early 90s like queen mm -hmm. latifah had a house record yeah, you know what yeah, i mean of course. like house was really it and then it just kind of yeah, died off so young people be like what is this yeah, so you're scared to listen to it it's, it's crazy but yeah. they did their research a little bit and like just realized it's black music and they looked at detroit and chicago it's just you know it's, it, it gets deep man like yeah. that's where it started detroit and chicago house music but know? people like, don't get that it comes back around in different forms mm -hmm. yeah. because the truth is is kanye west's fade is a house record yeah. like you know what i mean yeah, but then yeah. it's like you hear the influence but then mm -hmm. it's they yeah. just don't be scared it's, it's black real music. yeah <laughs> you know like you can't be scared of it yeah, exactly. you gotta dive in absolutely gotta dive in. yeah so mm -hmm. all right how would you describe getting back to the clothes yeah. And people say, BWC, what's the aesthetic? I uh, always like to say, what is this? So the aesthetic of BWC? It's, I like to blend mix, comfortabili comfortability, mm -hmm. and sophistication. So, like, Ooh. I need you to, like, I want, or not, need, I want people to wear my garments, my pieces. Like, they can put it on in the morning, but they can still wear it throughout the evening and go to, like, a really nice dinner at night. But it's still steezy, still cozy. Yeah. You know, it's just, like, my style. Like, I wear sweats with, like, a button up and loafers, you know, that type of. I love like the mixing the comfortable and like the really looking nice and, and presentable at the yeah. same time. So yeah, BWC is that. Yeah, it's 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 low. I feel like B I'm a low key person. I'm very like chill and relaxed and mm. laid back, and that's how the brand is like the same. I feel like it's still, like these like pieces that scream attention, but they're still like reserved. Like they're still like they're not like big logos on it. There's no. Mm. Uh, like you'll know if you have a BWC piece on. It's like a, it's a specific look, you know. But it's not like screaming at you. It's like very just like, I'm here, but I'm not here. Yeah, you know? most good design does. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Loud know? but calm. It's a keen eye sense. to do that too. Yeah. Very keen eye. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what yeah, that's what BWC is. Yeah. So, like, just the creation, cause it's it's kind of crazy, cause I felt like you make these jumps, right? You're like, when I decided to make it, and then it's like, oh, I made a line. Mm -hmm. Did it start as like T-shirts? Because your stuff is manufactured and how you sound like manufactured in brooklyn yeah. right mm -hmm. so what was that process like how did what, what were your first two pieces yeah it was and then getting into like a manufacturer like or did you already have a manufacturer earmarked yeah i feel like a lot of people knew? don't know they yeah. know that jump they um, don't know the process yeah, of know, like how to make it's it it's complicated it, it definitely can get complicated i'm just like lucky that i'm in here in philly where i can go to new york yeah. Now I'm just like be wondering like, yo, what do people be doing in like the Midwest and shit like that? <laughs> like, like, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, how, I don't know. But to answer your question, uh, we yeah, started off with T-shirts, yeah, mm. and then from there, I'll be taking bus trips up to New York, just to, like ask, going to the fabric shops, like not even buying anything, just asking questions. Like, it's like teaching myself through other people, and like, cause everybody who works at the fabric shop, it's in. So the Manhattan uh, design our uh, fashion district is very tight knit. Everybody knows who who is so. Oh yeah, I'll just be taking random trips up there, asking questions, like learning about material, yeah. and um, you know, I'm myself. I'm always somebody who like wants to like be different. So that the t-shirt run only lasted for like a couple months. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not fucking making going to be another streetwear brand. Like, not th this is not what I'm doing it for. So the trips to New York like taught me about like cut and sew, which is like making your garments from scratch. So, but my first piece was uh, this black and white like fishtail jacket. I don't know if you've seen it on the website, but. It was when Mac Miller wore it to a show. It kind of like got a lot of attention after that. Then after wow. that, that was like the first cut and sew piece, and I was like, "Oh shit, I need to like keep this up." So my factory's in Brooklyn. So now I'm just like, you know, we're we're super tight now. We have yeah. a really good family bond with my factory. So yeah. So now it's like, well, damn. Did I answer your question? So I've kind of no, no, no. Like, so like, how yeah. did you find your factory? Okay. Well, yeah, from going to the fabric spot. Yeah. 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 So and, then, and then and like referrals. Yeah. Someone's and like, people. yo, like I know this dude Tony and fucking Thirty Seventh and Eighth. Like you should go see him. It's like this shitty ass basement. You're just well, you know, just New York is like, especially <laughs> the fashion district. Is just like it's yeah. grimy. Yo. It's kind of crazy with the I don't know. It's, it's a it's a wild it's a wild wild west over there. It's so fast and like they don't give a shit about you. Mm -hmm. So you have to like know what you're talking about, or they're just gonna be like. They're gonna charge you a while. Like I got beat a couple times. Like I'm not yeah. gonna lie, I got cause uh, so naive, just like not really knowing what the hell I was doing. Like these like cats from New York are just like they've been doing this for fifty plus years. And they're technical. And they could tell. They were like, oh, this dude doesn't know what the fuck. He, like let's charge him twice as much, or like just tell him to get get out of here. You know, just like yeah. it's very cutthroat there. So like I've just learned to like 
stand my ground and like really learn that made me really want to learn how to actually run this shit you know yeah. i was like this is i'm not trying to get beat no more you know it's taking the lumps yeah. man like like we we talk about all the time like in a creative journey like you got to take your lumps like you got to yeah. make sure like there are gonna be times like you said you're gonna get beat even mm-hmm. the people who are doing are growing in their field are gonna get beat yeah, of it course. happens yeah so it i does. mean even to hear that from you is like oh wow okay like, mm-hmm. it, it really is yeah that's really the thing man. it was it was yeah it was crazy bro. you ever watch that show uh how to make it in america yeah of course yeah that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what made me think of that literally how it was just like running up and down manhattan yeah. just like, and then you get your sample and you're like this ain't yeah, it they charge me a million yeah, dollars no, ah. that's, another, that's a whole other story but yeah. Sam- <laughs> yeah it's a lot of money it's a lot of money involved a lot of risk you gotta i don't know i just learned to just what, are, what am i trying to say like the risk in fashion is so high yeah. and it's so so much money and then like if you just make say like this piece i didn't make this piece but like say you just you completed a whole piece and the last yeah. part is embroidery and the fucking embroidery gets one inch wrong and the whole piece is ruined you know and that's happened to me before so it's a very like meticulous like you just got to be so on point with everything yeah so you're like not losing money you know how yeah. you, i'm gonna go off the path how you feel about fast fashion because it's like Fashion is so technical, it's meticulous, mm-hmm. and then you have fast fashion that, a, yeah. it, you know, it, it's just like they don't care. Yeah, and half and the then, time people order stuff from online, what you're getting, exactly what you order. You're like, what is this? No, But Because it's like it's so much respect that I think designers and craftsmen yeah. should have on what they do. Yeah, of course, yeah. And then fast fashion might look at your website and say, well, exactly. we like that. <laughs> and they, they make Yo, a knockoff real quick. That is... It's, you can't that's part of the game you can't control that you know it's crazy but i think fast fashion has its its place i think it's needed i mean that's for certain certain people love that you know i think it's the, as far as like the labor and like you know i want to get when you talk about real details about like people not getting paid right that's yeah. fucked up but like i think it has its place i think it's necessary in the world you know i don't know because not everybody wants to shop like specific designers they just want to like some people just have no taste. They just like want. Yeah. They just like want to go to like a box store that like they just like are fucking robots. It's like, oh okay, I'm gonna go to Gap, buy this because I know it's dope, or like I know it's like a blank T-shirt and that's it. You know. Yeah. Some people just like need that fast. Like. Yeah. They some people just need a place or people to tell them like what to wear, what to buy, and yes. that, that's what fast fashion is. It's like everybody's trendy, everybody's wearing it. It's easy to buy. Yeah. I think it has its place, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, even knowing, so going on the website, seeing the, some of the pieces that you've created, even knowing that, um, especially you're talking about going to the, the actual, the, the factories and, and finding the garments, like the actual material you want people to feel in their skin. Mm-hmm. How do you how do you feel like you want people to feel when they wear BWC? Yeah. How do you want, uh, does that go into the process? Exactly. Yeah. Comfortable and sophisticated. Well, well, yeah, but like. I, <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, is there? Well, yeah, no, that's a good, I mean, when I, yeah, I want people to feel exclusive, and I th- yeah, I think exclusive is the right word. I want people to feel exclusive and unique and mm. different and, yeah, unique. I feel like, yeah, unique and, what did I just say? Exclusive. Exclusive, yeah. yeah, yeah nah. Exclusive and unique. That's the feeling. And I'm like, I always wonder if that's like, it's like you're, you're wearing one of my pieces, so I want you to exude yeah, that. Yeah, you know exactly. Give it aura. So all. that's what I feel people feel like when they wear it, you know. Yeah. Sometimes I'll, when somebody, I see somebody wearing it in the street, I'll just go up to them. And be like, yo, where'd you get that? And I just see their attitude, like, oh, this is BWC. Yeah. It's a Philly brand. It's like they have this whole attitude about they them. Don't be, do they not know it's you? No, like, you know, some oh, people do. Some, I like I, that. I, I, yeah. If I know the person doesn't know me, or like, I just is a random ass person that bought something from the website, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll just go up to them and just be like, oh, shit, this is dope. Like, where'd you get that? And just catch their whole attitude, just like, yo, oh, BWC, Any, what you mean? Anybody, <laughs> ever, anybody ever tell you, I, I can't remember? No. Uh, you know, people, they would do no, that. Actually, They'd yeah. be like, no, yeah, like, yeah, you right. can't have it, bro. I don't want it. I don't want to see myself. Yeah, think, thankfully, no. Thankfully, no. Everybody's That's been good. like, oh, it's BWC. Really good. Like, check out the site. <laughs> it's like, nice. you know, so it's like, yeah, people feel, like, empowered. That's another word, empowered. Mm-hmm. I like yeah. that. So, yeah. do, you, do you have any, like, like a muse? Someone, well, I guess it was this whole famous people, yeah. right? That you're like, man, if I see them in it, oof. Right. Or like, or when you even design and you're like, this is kind of the, mm. you know, they got this, this, these, the swag, whatever yeah. that like you kind of design around if they could wear it or, right, you know, right, or just right. someone you hope. Yeah, you no, see I'm thinking, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of like ha- house DJs that like, you know, I would love to see wear it. Um, I'm trying to think who's like somebody I'm like, yo, he needs to be wearing. I mean, Mac, Mac was one of them. I, yeah. You know, that happened. Uh a, a Rocky, oh, that would be dope. Like I see ASAP wearing some of the pieces because he yeah. has an impeccable style, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know. So it's people like him, people in that who like are just have such good taste. Like ASAP seems like he has good, really good taste, you know. Yeah. So yeah, people just like people who are very specific about their shopping. Mm. Yeah, 
a dog can just buy anything. They have to be like, all right, I'm buying this BWC piece because I know it was made from this material. It's this cut. It's yeah. this. Yeah. The collar's three inches. You know, the people who are like so scientific about their buying. Yeah. That's the. That's. I got some clients it. to send you away. I got <laughs> a couple <laughs> people who I know would love to get some BWC nice, pieces. Nice. Yeah. Please for real, do. So. Send them my way. I'm happy to hear <laughs> that. Definitely happy. Yeah. To hear yeah. That. So, uh, what was the next question? Uh, I was going to go into just, you know, I saw, we were, I was looking and learning about the Room Service International, mm-hmm. right? And I'm assuming that's the, I, actually, I'm going to have you tell the people before I even try to get my own explanation. Yeah, yeah. Talk, talk to us so about that. So, Room Service it. is, so the hooligan, his name is Julio. Yep. He, so, he was a DJ with Selection, um, and he broke off from them. But after, so to go back, that first event that I booked him at, after yeah. that event, we became super tight. He brought me on to Selection. That's how Selection Radio happened. Yep, yep. Um, so I was working with them for a bit. Then he broke off, and he wanted to do uh, – room service is his idea, but he, he just wanted to, like, do a whole different brand besides yeah. Selection because um, he's been a DJ for, like, 15-plus years. He's traveling wow. the world for wow. literally 15 years straight. Which is so cool. Has, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> he has a wild life, yo. And he's just, like, making all these connections around the world. So he was like, damn, like, I go to all these spots, but like I just DJ and just dip. Like I want to like actually do something within the community yeah. while I'm like getting booked to play, and that's when he brought me along to like do like the uh, design work, the website, and like mm. just like overall aesthetic of room service, and obviously DJ with him. So me and mm. him DJ together like back to back under room service. Beautiful. So basically, it's a community service based uh, company mm. where we travel the world uh, and serve like under underserved communities. It could be like Bali. It could be. A last place place in Asia we went to, um, and then we go to these spots. We we found we find partnerships with other community service activations, and we yeah. partner together. And like the last trip we did was Brazil, where we like helped uh, paint a school. We helped kids like learn how to garden and all that stuff. Wow. And then at the end of it, we DJ. And, yeah. And so it's powered by music. So it's community service company powered by music. Yeah. Y'all pick some good locations. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> that's I was like, good vacation. Son. No, Y'all need I, a plus one. Is yeah. there a plus one on these trips? I've been Next to Bali, time. and Bali is incredible. Yeah, thanks to Julio, man. He, you know, he did his. He put in the work and to make all these connections. So we just, you know, we travel through his connections, and they book us. And then we, yeah. once they book us, we're like, all right, who's the community leaders in these cities? Like, what can we do to like, whether that's like a feeding program, you know, whatever, you know, we just always try to do some community service activation under room service while we're getting booked. Yeah. So yeah, so that's room service. Yeah. Wow. That's okay. crazy. Shoot. How in how long has it been that you've guys uh, had? that's been like two years now, two and a half. Yeah. Three what you call it? Three years actually. Three wow. years, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's been three years. Damn. Wow. <laughs> it's crazy how like even I mean I think people talk about all the time is how, how music is such a unifying thing mm-hmm. you know what I mean like when you, anywhere you go music is the common language yeah. and we've been mm-hmm. talking about house and funk and like international that, that international taste to it Yeah, it's like you can go anywhere you no, DJ anywhere, you play the no, music and you crazy. can really have it's a connection insane. with the community it's so insane <laughs> it's crazy. like it's crazy man I'm so blessed to be able to do that you know it's yeah. like play in front of different face, like just different cultures. It's, it's wild. It's a wild feeling, you know. Yeah. It's a wild feeling. It's That's like crazy. So your journey was football. Then yeah. you said, ah, not, not less of that. Yeah. <laughs> then let me, let me go into, it. you came to Philly. Came to Philly. And then just on the living circumstances, you yeah. kind of got brought into a music inspired, and design yeah. world, inspired, mm-hmm. launched your label, mm-hmm. then got frustrated <laughs> with the music selections when you're doing stuff. You said, listen, I could do this myself. Yeah. Mm. And then you started DJing. When I started DJing, that's when I created BWC Sounds, which yeah. is like an, a music label. A bunch of DJs under there uh, and producers. So, yeah, I launched the label as well. And it, it didn't become a label until last year, actually. But wow. I created BWC Sounds back uh, before the label as like the SoundCloud, just like right. the musical experience behind BWC. And that's how, yeah, that's how that happened. That's crazy. Yeah, wow. That's, that's a journey. See, I'm <laughs> telling you, is that do I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, then... Late, kinda, then I'm kind of, I'm really, I'm, I'm a little hard to work with because I just, like, know, like, what I like. And yeah. it's, I don't know. It's, like, I be feeling bad for sometimes when people, like, work with me because I just, like, I'm such, like, a, it's hard for me to say yes to things to, like, come to, a me- like, a meeting place where I just, like, yeah. you know, I feel it in my gut that, like, it has to be like this. And it's, like, I'm learning to let go 
and work with people. So you could ask hard. Amir. I'm, I, I, I go through the same thing. Like even for us as creatives, like mm -hmm. if there's something that we want or something that you want, you want it to be that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you just be ooh. like, uh, uh, mm, turn yeah, into yeah. the, the, the thug and dirt <laughs> picture. You like move. Over, right? <laughs> I'm just be like, hold up, wait, I got this. Um, so I would say thinking about it, right? You're mm. kind of like a sensory artist. Like mm. it's all about like the clothes, how it feels, mm. and then how the atmosphere felt yeah. at your shows and your activations, your pop-ups, and then you say, you know what, let me get into sound, and that turned into that. Yeah, yeah. And then you're like, you know what, I can't be every place by myself, so let me get a whole gang yeah. of DJs like me. Mm -hmm. Let's corral that. Wow. Yeah. And then room service came. Yeah, room service, and yeah. So yeah, music has been crazy for me. Like, I fell in love That's with incredible. it because I feel like I taught myself how to design. I taught myself how to love designing and apparel but like DJing was like uh, my purpose, you know. I feel like that's yeah. truly my purpose because I just picked it up so quick, yeah. And um, I just really love it. It's crazy. Like, I just I fell so in love with it, and I just feel like um, that's what I'm meant to be doing. And like, so you yeah. love furniture too. I love furniture design. Mm -hmm. Like I'm a I'm a design person. I'm a, I guess I always say I'm like a media consultant, yeah. which I do. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I produce and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Which of you course. know that's how I met Tony and Josh. Mm -hmm. which you, I don't know if you know Tony. That's our third. Tony he's a third yet. guy. Oh, yeah. Word. Yeah, I haven't yeah. met Tony yet. But um, I love furniture too. Yeah. What's your favorite furniture style? If you like era or like kind of style? Uh, mid-century person. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, I'm 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 new into the furniture game. Like, that's like the next uh, thing I want to step into. Like I want to design mm -hmm. my own like Joshua Lang furniture. That's definitely. That sounds like, fine. It <laughs> 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 just sounds definitely fine. on the horizon. So that's that's I'm new. I'm 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 into it all actually. I just love like it's just. It's wild how furniture can just like transform a space and like mm -hmm. how it commands space in an actual spot. So like I've super always been attracted to it. Never like did my own like, well never did, like did like crazy like uh, research behind it yet. Well I'm, I'm doing research, but like I'm never yeah. I've never like fully like engaged myself with within it yet. Yeah. Wow. So mm. what's what do you okay? So furniture. Any other horizons you want to tap into? Uh, just yeah, just the core. Beat up, see the core. That's like yeah, I want to. Do that. I'm trying to think what else. What else do I like? <laughs> I'm almost like that's probably it, that's eyewear. It. Probably yeah. Well, eyewear, yeah, yeah right. definitely eyewear. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, maybe jewelry. I'm looking at this pinky ring. I've been like the, <laughs> the whole, whole time. yeah, the whole fit is fire. You came in here like I'm a. I, <laughs> you said fashion. I got you. <laughs> nah, it, it, fashion, the whole, I got you. The whole joint is fire. <laughs> yeah, I definitely yeah. will say that. Well, that's well to answer your question actually. Um, so I'm planning on opening up uh, my own space here in Philly, in nice. Old City. Oh, I saw, I think that yeah. was on your, your Instagram page. Yeah, yeah, like. so. That's amazing. That's actually what I'm, so, okay, I'm glad you asked that because that's what I found out that I really, combining everything that I love is like creating an atmosphere. That's mm -hmm. what I found, like the pop-ups, the music, just like all into one is like, all right, I need to have my own fucking space. Like I need to have my own space. Yeah. So right now I'm in the phase I found the building so like now I'm in the phase of like looking for investors and all yeah. that but like the whole concept is uh it's a retail like the first floor is retail slash the full bar and then the upstairs is a cafe lounge slash like record bar which mm. means uh you know you can go up there you can do your work but it's a really steezy like hideaway like bungalow uh lounge that you can like go to the to the bar uh the barista will serve you but he's also playing like vinyl records and like teaching you about Oof. the vinyl and all that you know it's like I'm trying to like make it like a well that's inspired from from Japan because they have yeah. like, they have these record bars in Japan. I've been to a record bar okay. in Japan. Oh, yeah, so that's exactly what yeah. I'm, I'm going to be doing here. Wow. So combining like a cafe element slash record bar slash like I want like I want to have books there, the magazines like that are all based around design and furniture, and um in the bot in the basement will be a venue, a music venue. Okay. So yeah. cafe lounge, uh, retail, full bar, and a music yeah. venue. Yeah. I'm assuming Japan was as eye opening and, and, and fashion inspiring as. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I've been there four times really? because of that. Yeah. Oh wow! I, I went. I was on the mirror. I, the first time I went, I, I gotta go back. Like yeah. it's just it's it's everything over there is just like I want to say next level, but Ooh. like no, it's just sure. it's, they're it's they're ahead. You know it's what I mean? I never can explain it. You just mm -hmm. have you gotta go. Can go. I mean, it's just like it's inc oh that's why I was go. Well, I was going every year. Yeah. Uh, last year was the last year I couldn't go, but yeah, I always plan to go. I got invited to a trade show in Tokyo. That was wow. the last time I went. Okay. Um, 2019. It was yeah, it was a trade show. It was cool because I was the only, only colored folk there <laughs> representing his Hold own brand. You know, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. it was like I was the only person who was like the actual like. All right, that's the brand owner. Everybody had yeah. like sales reps, so mm -hmm. wow. it was dope. It was like you know, just 
that told me that like you know the brand belongs over there now. You Absolutely. Know, that's, you know a lot of a lot of stores were uh, interested in it. So even like the Steves behind BWC is like that fits over there just yeah. as well. Yes. You know? So, craftsmanship yeah, yeah. And like, and not the they're mm-hmm. not big on the elevator they're like take the mm-hmm. stairs yeah, mm-hmm. do exactly. it the right way exactly. get it yeah. like really know your product and mm-hmm. the history and yeah. but also make it efficient exactly yeah, yeah it fit well it fit well over there so yeah mm-hmm. i'm gonna change i'm gonna change the gears a little bit yeah. i know because i know we, we usually have our, like our disruptor questions we want to get into but Word. i was feeling inspired i was going to do some tiktoks <laughs> and some things and was like let me let me sw- switch it up Word. we're gonna do some one gotta goes <laughs> You familiar with oh, one gotta go? Okay. okay. Uh, what is, so is it so like I'm gonna give you an option of four things. Word. One of these things <laughs> and all of its history has to go. Word. Right? We went the first two, the first one's real, it's, it's easy. Mm-hmm. We up it a little bit after that and we get real hard after that. <laughs> okay. All right? So the, the first you. one, you ready? Let's go. I'll give you four things <laughs> pizza, mm-hmm. wings, cheesesteaks, or french fries. One gotta Jesus go. Christ, really? Yeah. <laughs> one gotta go. <laughs> gotta be going. You said pizza. Cheesesteak, fries, or wings. Wings. Mm-hmm. I would say fries. Ooh. Fries. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, it's crazy. Any particular reason? <laughs> Every Everybody in the room was like, oh my God. No. Oh, every vegan in the world gasped. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Damn. Def- yeah, definitely fries. I would say fries. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely fries. <laughs> All right. But let's take it up another level. You want, so, you want this one? Let's talk. Um, do you celebrate holidays? Mm, would you raise a Jehovah's Witness? No. I'm not, I'm not a huge. Uh, Holiday guy. So he's going to be like, all of them. All of go. All right. Josh had Thanksgiving, Christmas, your birthday, or Mother's Damn. Day. <laughs> yeah, or Mother's Day. Christmas, my birthday, Thanksgiving. Mother's Day, or Thanksgiving. Yeah. I would say Thanksgiving. Wow. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. <laughs> Once you think about it, you're kind of like. It's Christmas, actually. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Definitely Christmas, yeah. Get rid of it? Yeah. I'm not Because okay. I've never really been a Christmas guy. I don't yeah. know. It's, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not a holiday guy at all, for yeah. real. Like, it's. I really don't. My family wasn't really big into it either. Like, yeah. So yeah, I was. Def- yeah, Thanksgiving. Okay. That's a hard question. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I came prepared. Well, I said Christmas. Christmas. Sorry. Christmas. I will give away. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. do. Yeah. 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 Christmas give, is gone. I'm getting myself confused. All right. So this one, I j- I saw this in my group chat. We were talking about it. I know it, house music is the theme, but I wanted to see what you thought about this. <laughs> you ready? Four producer styles. Four producers. Mm-hmm. Ready? The Neptunes, right? Kanye West. Timberland Sheesh. or Manny Fresh, Sheesh. one gotta go. <laughs> These are wild. These are wild lineup, <laughs> this is this yo. is this is top heat right here. Definitely not the Neptunes. Okay, definitely Ooh. not the Neptunes. I knew we were friends for a reason. We like that. Uh, you said Kanye Timberland, Manny Fresh. Mm-hmm. I'll say Manny Fresh. Uh, Manny Fresh, the uh, whole hot boy. Uh, all they all no. little wing, all of it. So you got Kanye though. Actually, Kanye. Ooh. That's okay. insane. I don't know what am I saying right now? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like thought about the whole Manny Fresh's whole legacy. Yeah. yeah. Manny Fresh is a lot bigger than people, you know. Oh yeah. Think. Yeah, then Kanye. Cause he's like, yeah, definitely not Timberland. How yeah, that de- Kanye. Kanye, okay. yeah, well, Kanye. Okay, solid. Sheesh. Solid. Wow. You survived. I don't know. You might want to change that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't want him to see this. He'd be <laughs> like, oh, yeah, right? Kanye, we still love you. Just you won't gotta go at this time and you gotta right. go. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So yeah, we we, we transition into our, our disruptor questions. We mm-hmm. like to you know get to know you and get to know things that you like to do. Yeah. Um, and I'm actually interested in this one. What three things do you keep on you at all times? Uh, what three things I keep on me? My bag, BWC mm-hmm. bag, hey. always. Uh, my this this gem of an earring, mm-hmm. always always wear it. it. Has so much feeling behind it. Yeah. Uh. I mean, the cliche answer would be a phone, right? Like, I don't, I don't want to say a phone. It's yeah. like obviously your phone, your yeah. keys, and your wallet. But like, I'm trying to think, and my rings, yeah, hey. rings, okay. bag. What else did I say? Earring, earring, earring. yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'm always cool. trying to figure out the J. Is that J? No. It starts with a P. I always forget. Oh, Peridot. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Wow, oh, here, look at you. See what I'm talking about. I said, are you a Gemini? <laughs> 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 she channeled it. She channeled I know. it. <laughs> I know energy. I be knowing. Word. I'm telling you. All right, so all right, you got what you keep on you. Mm. Um, that's a hard one. What's your morning routine? Mm. So I like to wake up around like 6, 6.30. Um, early bird. Yeah, I'm an early bird. That's from like football. <laughs> Sports. Early practices. Uh, drink, I wake up, drink. A gla- two glasses of water, meditate for thir- 20 minutes, and I drink tea, and then I'm starting to get used to writing. I like writing now. Ooh. It's like 
I've realized how important that is to just let your brain just like just get it all out on yeah. paper. Um, so yeah, wake up, drink water, meditate, tea, then I hit hit the gym and yoga. Yeah, and yoga, gym. Well, it's not, most days it's like both. Some days it's either one or the other. I do yeah. yoga or I'm working out the other day. But yeah, it's always always an exercise. Okay. Yeah. But always, definitely always meditation, always an exercise. Yeah. Yeah. You got to keep your body and your mind right, man. Yeah. At Can, all times. Cannot not meditate. Like, I have to. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's like, I have to. Or else, I don't even know. Like, I have to stay grounded within all these projects and, like, yeah. my ideas. So, just feel like it always just brings me back to uh, being patient and, like, mm. and collecting what I actually, like, want to do with my life. But it's mm. always, it's always, like, makes me get deeper within, like, my purpose and like what I'm actually doing. I'm, you know, you get caught up in life. You're just like running around. You're just like, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna Especially say yes. Have, yeah. I'm gonna say yes to this. I'm gonna say yes to this dude. But that just like brings me back to like, all right, what am I? What do I actually want to do? What does my body want to do? You know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Does that guide your day as far as like what you work on that day, or you kind of just have a list of like what needs to get done? Oh. Like uh, as far as after that and yeah. then the work side. My okay. days. I'm. I always tell Will they're like. My days are so unorganized. I'm the most unorganized person you probably meet, yo. I just never have a calendar. I never, like, it's, this is horrible to be saying, but, like, I just <laughs> never, like, I, just I don't know. Every day is just, like, uh, an adventure. I just never write shit down. I don't know. I'm just kind of like, all right. Like, I have, I know, all right. I know what I need to be doing. Like, okay, it's there. I need to be doing that. But, like, I don't want to be like, all right, 2 o'clock, I'm doing this. 3 o'clock is blocked off for this. I don't know. I just kind of let my days just roll. But handle the projects that need to be yeah. does that make any sense no, you're true yeah. it's a rough idea yeah, it's like, it really just, is like a creative lifestyle yeah I don't like, know I just I'm really bad with like committing to things and schedules so like I, my personal schedule I just like alright I'm not I, I can't commit to shit <laughs> I just know that about myself I just buy I know like what I need to be doing you know yeah. like this morning like alright I need to like reach out to a couple people who like want to invest in the space so like, yeah. you know there's like stuff I know that I need to make a phone call to this dude but like other than that I'm just just let it rock I don't know just let it let it, let I see float. which twin takes over the Gemini. Let, <laughs> let it who float. Wants to do what? <laughs> who wants to do what? How do you how do you feel your creative juices? Uh, like I guess the meditation and yeah, then everything else. Yoga, else. yoga and exercising. But uh, I'm trying to think. I like. Uh, that's a great question because I'm just like, like yeah, what do I do that like sparks and that like imagination? Yeah, like um, anything. Like I um always reference like Bob Marley played soccer. Mm-hmm. Cause he liked it, but also it opens him up yeah. for music, right? Yeah, yeah. Martin Luther King played pool, mm. and that was a way that he could like just dump his mind. Yeah, yeah. I wash dishes. Word. Yeah. <laughs> Word. So like, is there something <laughs> so that you Sorry. know what I mean right. that just helps you like quiet outside of the other stuff, but like a different activity that you're just like, and it I, and also I look at furniture mm-hmm. and stuff on Pinterest and in architecture and like cool Word. spaces on Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's usually a, France and. Yeah, Sweden, I think I'm that's at definitely it. a big thing too. Yeah. But I'm a big walker. I, I think that's mm. what it is. Actually, I walk a lot. I just be walking sometimes. <laughs> it's like I just need to walk, and yeah. like that's how I really be thinking about like all my ideas like during my walk. So yeah, I would say walking, yeah. and like I love trying like different things. Like I love uh, like I snowboard too, and that's like oh, wow. I mean, yeah, and that like Your ankles alright. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was hear bad things about <laughs> ankles and snowboarding. Yeah, so. you can get you can get messed up, yo. It's yeah. crazy, but yeah. like doing like stuff like that, just like. You know, I'm such a f- open-minded individual, and just, I just love trying things. And yeah. fell in love with snowboarding. I've been doing that for like, like five, six years now. Wow. I try to go like every season. So that's great. That opened up my mind to different things. You know, you know, being out. The snowboarding is just wild. It's a wild activity <laughs> that, you know, I never like would th- think about even doing as a kid. Yeah. Obviously, because that's not yeah. my household. Like my dad was like snowboarding. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going snowboarding. <laughs> like who are you? You yeah. know, and you're. He's like, oh, and you're doing yoga now. Like, I don't even know who you are anymore, you know. But yeah. I just like, I just, I'm, I just, I like doing different things. Yeah, you know? be our yeah. Own family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Our own family be hating on <laughs> us. Right. It's right. funny. So, uh, what we're going to the hard question? Yeah. What album, film, or TV show mm. defines you at this stage of life? Wow, wow, wow. Uh, you got time? Take your time. Yeah, no, this is what defines. Uh, I was, I was going to say, well, it's funny. I was, well, before it would be uh, How to Make It in America, but that's, I'm past that phase. Have you ever seen Catch Me If You Can? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't know why it's the first. I don't know. I just feel like I'm on the run, but, like, I'm definitely making a lot more money now. Um, I'm traveling. <laughs> 
I'm experiencing different people. Yeah, I don't know. I guess but you're yeah. not conning people though. No, no. Well, no, no. <laughs> He's chasing his dream. Wait, actually, yeah, let me clear that up because that movie is definitely based around that. <laughs> we, I didn't even like. Wasn't even thinking. Well, yeah, not not that, but like but just like on just the like go, on the like, go, like, just hustling, just like yo, just just really hustling. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say catch me if you can. I don't know why, but yeah, that's the first. Yeah, catch yeah. me if you can. Besides the scheming part. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. When you got a weekend to yourself, how you spend it? A weekend to myself, how I spend it. Um, is this like meaning like uh, like am I traveling somewhere? Or are you just in general? If I'm well, just whatever. Like however, it's, it's to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. How do you want it? Like however you want to live it. Yeah. Um, I think n- now I'm entering more of a space where I'm letting my phone go more often. So like a weekend mm. looks like I I like being I like I like my I like alone time. I'm alone. Mm. I'm a high key loner for real. Like I don't like uh, I like so it's funny because I love socializing and networking. But like, what do you call those type of people who like do both? Like what is that like called? Like an introverted extrovert. Yeah. Like, yes, or right? Extroverted <laughs> introvert. Yeah, yeah. Your like, battery. You deplete your battery. You know. Yeah. You just, that's I a, love. a word for it. <laughs> Ambivert? <laughs> Boom. There we go. Look at that. Coming in clutch. Yeah. <laughs> we love it. I feel like, yeah, I feel like the weekend looks like I'm I'm dolo, no phone. Um funny, I'm I'm into psychedelics as well. So like I'll probably bring a bag of mushrooms to be honest and tap in. Yeah, whatever you need. <laughs> whatever you need. No, for real. And just, I've done this before and this is the perfect weekend. I'll just bring my DJ equipment, I'm yeah. tapping in, I'm reading. I'm like there's no distractions, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, psychedelic, that's a whole other conversation because I think a lot of people need to try it. Mm-hmm. That's just my opinion. I think yeah. it's like a deeper meeting. That's why it's here, yeah. you know, especially shrooms, you know. Yeah. Um, damn, yeah, that's what my weekend I mean, looks look, like. Mike Tyson said Toad changed so his funny. life. Yeah. What is it? Toad. What is that? What is it, like DMT? Oh, D- like a DMT, okay, word. Yeah, oh, but yeah, he was like, a, it just changed his life. Yeah, dude, those like, things open up different portals in your brain, yo. It's pretty wild. Do you wild. ever try to, like, document anything when you're on a I trip? don't. I don't. I just just asking because yeah. it's like you know you might think you're writing a not like this great novel and you look later and it looks like a yeah. five year old can't write <laughs> and you're like what? That's so funny. <laughs> that, that one time I had an edible and I was like this is brilliant and later I was like, like damn I was high as hell. Oh, yeah. like, that happens. You ever like wake up from a dream and be like this is the best idea ever but you half asleep trying to write it? Yeah exactly. Same yeah. thing. Same so thing. I, I I had a whole movie. Mm. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Can I show you my notes? Yes. Yeah I'm telling you. Word. Yeah. That's that's amazing. Yeah, but in my but real, my waking life, I can't get ideas. Yeah. So I gotta go to sleep to get them. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> it's like the reverse of nightmare right. on the street. Right. What are we thinking? Uh, Dis- disrupt the question. Damn. So. Yeah. Here. Yeah, we. Yeah, this so, is crazy. No, because it's just kind of like it feels like time went really fast. Yeah, yeah. It was it's a like great your journey really was a journey. Word. And guided by like instinct almost mm-hmm. yeah. like or what, what's the word that we say it is intuitive yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean yeah, like definitely. a really intuitive and that's journey like, yeah no it's funny you say that because i was really big on like finding these people like connecting with certain people because i just like knew once i connect with this person there was something was going to magic okay. was going to happen hmm. and i like i'm huge like all my friends just say that to me like yo that's like a really special gift and talent mm-hmm. is like like eyeing, like knowing your atmosphere and eyeing, like you know, like with Mac and like Kalani, like when Kalani was in Philly, um, I kind of stalked her, fuck her Instagram story. And I was like, I gotta find this chick. And you like, and me both. You <laughs> and me. You and me both. I was like, I gotta <laughs> give her. I gotta give her some project. <laughs> I gotta give her some product, yo. And I was like, all right, let me just see where she's at in Philly. Caught her on South yeah. Street for real. Wow. But for I was real. just like. I was just like, yo, I just, I'm that type of person where yeah. then we met and it was all love and she like did a whole photo shoot with the jacket on. Wow. I'm just like, so I just like, no, I'm like, all right, I need to connect. And that's what yeah. my whole career has been off of like relationships. And uh, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, yeah, so many people. There's a lot of people like Uzi, he, that, so this one, I got to bring up a picture of this jacket because this jacket was, yeah. was like such a, like a famous jacket for if, me. If you, I got if you so send it to, to us, we will include it. So. There's like this long like uh, black and white pattern fishtail jacket mm. um and that's like mac wore it uzi wore it kehlani wore it a lot of people wore it you know a lot got into a lot of people's hands and yeah that was yeah i mean that'll yeah, do yeah it. That'd, yeah absolutely some big figures in it yeah just me and connecting with all these people and even like yes jewels you guys think who yes jewels yeah, is yeah. she she was like a a really good all the homie. Guys know yes, <laughs> <laughs> she was a really good homie and supporter, and she like always wrapped it and talked about it. So connected with her in Miami. Yeah, yeah. I'll just be like I mentioned earlier. Got 
I like going spots dolo because I just know, like, I don't want to worry about people. And it's like, no, yeah. I want to make my connections and do stuff. And, and so you're more approachable when you're by yourself. Yeah, exactly. You're less of a threat when you're a single person saying, hey, mm -hmm, you know, yeah. people are like, all right, let, let's get lunch. Yeah, or, exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah, I took so my whole, yeah, I took a book bag full of uh, jackets to Miami by myself for Art Basel. And I was just hustling. I was just, like, down there just, like, meeting. That, and that's when I first met Mac. And I um, was just down there hustling. That's when I first met Uzi. And that's when he put the jacket on. And I was, like, going around Art Basel just, like, selling this jacket and giving it. And, like, wow. really, you call it stalking, but stalking certain people, like, knowing yeah. what events they're going to be at. Yeah. And just, like, introducing myself. And, yeah, it's just been like that. That's but there's a lot of, like, like, I'm very happy you brought that up because I feel like creators are to that space sometimes where it's, like, is that the right thing to do? I, I can't remember who it was. But it was, yeah. it was another person who actually went and they wanted to interview Big Sean, right? Mm. But they had to wait for, you know, Big Sean to get through all his regular radio stuff. Yeah. Then waited after that, but then said, hey, he's got something else to go to. Yeah. Followed him to that, yeah. you know. He was the last person. He was like, listen, I just need, like, 20 minutes of your time. Yeah. Big Sean stopped and, went, you know, gave him the 20 minutes. Yo, so see, that's like, what I'm saying, yo. It, You got to do it sometimes. It's, you got to do it. We, we, yeah. we handed out... So for our, our web series, we handed out flyers in front of um, come, uh, Made in America. Mm. Like, literally all weekend. It was like, hey, watch our show. Hey, watch our Word. show. Hey, watch our show. Dope. You know, we got it's, benefits from it, but, like, that's say, how you have to hustle. Exactly, yo. Yeah. You can't be scared. Yeah. It's all about your approach, Appreciate too. You. I know it's like, <laughs> it could be weird sometimes, depending on, like, how you are as a person, your personality. Yeah. If you're stepping up to somebody, like, where are my, where are my clothes? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird. It's weird sometimes. Yeah. Even, like, uh, scouting for uh, male models, that's, like, another, that's a whole thing itself because... Yeah. You could come off kind of like weird, you know, yeah. like yo, you look good. You trying to model, for, <laughs> you trying to model for my brand. It's like, all right, this is weird, you know. Like, but like that's, I like found how to like scout talent at bars and stuff. It's going, right. you know, it's approaching them with like a calmer matter, you know. Yeah. I'm a very laid back guy, so I don't be coming off aggressive at all. Yeah. So it's kind of like they feel comfortable, and then I, you know, from then, from there, we can like engage in like what I actually do, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's really dope. Yeah. That's really dope. I you mean, know, I, I saw this quote, and it, it makes, because you, like, people who do yoga, you're taught that gratitude is, like, a guiding principle of your life, right? Yeah. Um, and then you, like, you meditate and everything. But it's funny because it's, like, that's the biggest thing I want, like, a lot of creatives got to remember. Mm. It's, like, when you're approaching somebody, you're, like, hey, can you, it's, like, if you have gratitude as your attitude, and that's how it, like, whatever mm. comes from where you're grateful for, it, right. it helps you from being yeah, bitter exactly. on that journey, exactly, right? Yeah. From being bitter, like, bro, you just not going, oh, oh, yeah. so you not going, <laughs> damn, you, you won't talk to yourself, me, yeah. okay, like, right. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, like, having that gratitude. So, um, what yeah. are you most grateful for throughout your journey? Ooh, throughout my journey, uh, what am I grateful for? I think... My ability to go through, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, uh, wait, this is going to bother me now. What is, what is it called when you go th when you go through something and you overcome it? It's uh, a trial. Advers adversity. My, my listen, ability. Right, listen, yes. You guys are the best today. <laughs> <laughs> Filling all the one pluses. <laughs> yeah, my ability to go through adversity. I'm grateful for that. You know, yeah. I could have I could have given up so many times. I could have, I went broke. So many, I mean, I had like negative dollars in my accounts at times i could have gave up so many times but like my ability through i learned adversity from football actually and i brought that yeah. skill to like you know you get you know you get fucked up one down you fumble whatever you got to get up and like do another mm -hmm. play and that's adversity so that learning that through football um yeah i'm super grateful for adversity adversity and my relationships yeah yeah yeah, yeah. wow definitely right. for okay. sure i would say you're cr you're you're courageous because yeah. a lot of people, Heck like you said, mm -hmm. they they quit. Yeah. They get like, if they're not uh, like uh, immediately embraced or accepted, if it doesn't just become a runaway success, the yeah, very exactly. first six months, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People they get scared, and then people be afraid of losing or like, it's like well, why was that? You're you're not afraid to fail. You're afraid to fail with other people watching. Right. Right. right exactly. And that's hard. Yeah, but you know to mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah. So no, um, that's real. looking at your journey designer dj mm -hmm. and it's crazy that you don't have any formal training in anything right you know what i mean he picked it up and was like i'm gonna be better than you all y'all watch yeah. i'm gonna be better than all y'all yeah, so what it, to, to you what does it mean to be a disruptor because like okay so like if we, how we explain it mm -hmm. we're disruptors in the culture podcast um it's usually people that we're adjacent to or our friends we interview mm -hmm. and you know and we usually see people as a disruptor in the industry that they're in right. one way or another. Mm -hmm. So to you, what does it mean to be a, a disruptor? Yeah. Like personally. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, what does it mean to be a disruptor? It means you are literally creating 
you're not following any trends. You're li- you're cre- so you you're entering your own world and you're sharing your own world through your vision. Like I think that's like the foundation of being a disruptor because you're sharing yourself in a unique way through your own little lane, and you're disrupting the scene through just your own. Because the scene is like a whole pool, right? Then you just have like these disruptors coming in with their their own vision, their own lane, and they're like changing the way people feel, the the way people think. And I feel like within BWC, that's disruption in myself personally with DJing is I'm changing changing people's moods you know I'm changing yeah. the way how they look with their clothes I'm changing how they feel with the music so I'm disrupting wow. their normal day-to-day lifestyle to enter my world yeah. and that's what I, yeah that's what I feel like a disruptor is yeah 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 damn that was that was tight I want to I want to hear that again <laughs> <laughs> well that word well, make sure we give you the <laughs> snippet from that. That, was, yeah. that was dope that was really dope I want to quote that I might have to tweet that tomorrow <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good, man. Yeah. So, so again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you so yeah. much for spending this time with us, having this sure. conversation. Um, it means a lot. I mean, we rapped before. Like, this is. I, I was hoping this would happen. You yeah, know this mean? dope. We came across so, the episode too. Yeah, like, that's like so because that was two, three years ago. Yeah, now? it was. It was yeah. a while ago. I, 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 the crazy part is, I remember where I was. I was driving my car back to my crib from mm-hmm. possibly a shoot. Word. And um, I was like, wait a minute, like this is this joint rocks. And from there, I was like, All right, I, I guess crazy. we could say I spoke it into existence. That's from crazy. That point on. Did you go to the show that that the selection show? Yeah, you were there as well. Yeah, yeah. So I was there. I was there too. It was a crowd. Hey, you know, yeah, that so. that whole selection journey is also they put me onto so many people too. Yeah. and how that happened is, I mean, it happened through the hooligan. Yeah. Um. Yeah, man, I love those dudes. Obviously, Joe is like, yeah, fucking, he's he's the man, yo. He's thing, the man. man. He's the Shout man. So. Super happy to be connected with them and yeah. like them support me. It's dope. It's dope. Yeah, it's really dope, mm-hmm. man. I, I, I appreciate it. Again, I appreciate it. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Um, yo. Thank, thank you. you guys. Yeah, Keith, Devin, you. Dex. Behind appreciate y'all. BTS crew. Yeah, I'm saying <laughs> they came up. At, we, at Drew, you know, I'm going to say Drew on here because Drew, Drew sets up everything, does everything. You know, Drew's doing his LA thing, comes back and forth. Nice. You saw him earlier. Yeah, yeah. But y'all stepped up. Really appreciate y'all. Like, hands oh, he down, lives in bro. LA. Yeah, he's well back and forth. Oh, damn, but he's in LA. Tight. So crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. Good Word. peoples. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> crazy up. good peoples. That's so again, up. thank you guys so much. Um, mm-hmm. continue to like, subscribe, follow, disruptors in the culture. Mm-hmm. Check our comments. We're gonna tag everybody. But just like that, we're out of here. Yeah. Episode complete. Be on the lookout for the BWC Bistro coming soon. Hopefully. I was going about to say Next go ahead and drop all your stuff. No. Get, I want your, I want your Instagram. Hey. We want the website. We want the the, the show. Please give us everything. Yeah, how, 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 say how it all. People find Josh yeah. Lang. Yeah, on jo- social. Joshua Lang on Instagram. Joshua Lang on SoundCloud. Underscore just Joshua Lang straight straight through. Joshua Lang straight through. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. And Joshua Lang. I feel like yeah, just go to joshualang.net <laughs> <laughs> and that's where you, you can find, find all my shit, you know. Okay. I have a yeah, I have a website, personal website. What can they be looking forward to? Uh, like on my site or anything. Oh, the, the, the space. Oh, oh, yeah, I even mentioned. The so space. Yeah. I even so the W Hotel that's opening. I'm going to be the the music curator there. Like, Ooh, so basically, I'm gonna be big like, thing. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I forgot to mention that actually. Wait, Clap it up. So the music curator <laughs> yeah. of the even the, like even the elevator music. Yeah, like the playlist. Uh, booking the DJs. The, <laughs> yeah. doing all that so that 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 was like a two-year process because i had a i had an office at a we work okay downtown and yeah. i've been a huge fan of the w like just the brand aesthetic it's yeah. just such a fire 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 hotel that really embodies music and design and fashion it was just perfect i was like yo you need to meet me type shit yeah. and that's what we were talking about earlier like i introduced myself to them yeah like the next day i knocked on the door i was like yo you guys need to know who i am yeah. type of thing i was like this is Wait, what I they do. had something that we work how did you they had an office uh, because it's not open yet so yeah. it was like under construction um for like past three years and they had yeah. an office at we work and i saw the w logo and me and julio played at a couple w's like yeah. around when we travel and i was like yo w's fire there's one opening here yeah I have to be involved, and like that's when I like proposed ah. to them the the position as like a music director. Yeah. So yeah, that happened, and now we're here, about to finally open in May, I think May June. So Congratulations! Wow. Back that spot is it's it, that's going to be the spot. I'm telling you, the spot is so fire. Yeah. Like the roots, you know, like the uh, pool, terrace, bars, like. When I need reservations dope. and it's tight, I'm like, I'm gonna drop your name. <laughs> right. I'm gonna be like, I'm Josh Lang's Y'all must friend. not know. <laughs> Do you right. not know? Oh, okay. Just call Josh. Just call him. All right, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Give me the presidential suite. All right? yeah. And those presidential suites have DJ booths in them, so 
It's gonna, oh, be, wow. it's gonna be a situation. It's gonna be a situation. That's yo. crazy. It's wow. gonna be super. I'm excited to like curate the programming and like the DJs. And wow, okay. That's yeah. It's, it's right on 50th and Chestnut. Okay. Right across from uh, what is that? Del Frescos, right yeah. there. Let us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. keep us in mind too. I hope. Yeah. yeah, yeah of course. Of course. Please. Yeah, I appreciate I'm it. telling you, this summer, like hope crossing fingers. We're getting yeah. a, sort of normal summer, but that's gonna be like the the jump off spot. Love that. For oh, sure. We love that. To be outside sure. this summer. Outside. Pool, 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 pool and then the summer's gonna yeah. be open. Yeah. 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 I hope. Shit. I hope. But yeah, that's that's what to look out for. The W and you know working on my space. So in yeah. Old City, I picked Old City because. There's nothing there, and just like such like an open lane yeah. to do something and, cool. And it's such a design air it's centric dope. area. I love, though, I love like, being in old city. It's yeah. fires. It's like historic. there's a lot of yeah. design spots there. But nobody ever goes out there. It's just whack bars, you know. Just so I'm trying to create something there. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so that's it. Check, Appreciate check, it. Check me out. <laughs> check it out. Please check him out. Check everything else out. At JoshuaLang.net. Yes, yeah, sir. Yep, and yep. Uh, we out of here. Word.